Well, um, you will need your ISN for today, so if you don't have it, go grab it. Yay! Sophia is prepared. You are so tired. If you just fall asleep, things will be just fine. Good morning, Judith. Okay, I will tell you for tomorrow and Thursday, you will need soil. So you gotta go dig some up in your backyard or go to the park and dig up at least um, a cup full. You don't need to dig up a full bucket. It's mixed in with regular dirt. So you will need that tomorrow and Thursday. start recording. Okay, so just a reminder that Wednesday and Thursday you will need some soil. Okay, you will need some soil. About a cup, cup and a half. Should be fine. Just a little bit. And today's a pretty day, so you should be able to get out and get it. Okay, today you will need your ISN. Okay, let's go ahead and get started. So today I'm going to take you all the way back to the earlier in the year where we were working on landforms. Let me see if I even have some pictures from them. We can think back to when Maricela's dad came and talked with us. Hmm. Oh, there's the crater bag. Remember this one? Where we had the pan. Okay. Okay, here we go. So I want you to look at the words below. We're going to make a T chart. The T chart, one side is going to be slow land changes, the other one's going to be fast 
plan changes. Okay. So the first row, and it says erosion. Is erosion a fast or a slow change? Jackie, is erosion a fast or a slow change? What do you think? It's okay to be wrong. Jackie, unmute and speak, please. I think it's fast. Okay. Anybody else? What about the erosion of a mountain? It's slow. Yeah. I tend to think it's more slow than it is fast. So let's put that on the slow land changes. What about a tsunami? say that's fast. Yeah. Okay, what about a tornado? <laughs> okay, somebody else, do you agree? Tornado, fast or slow? Fast. Fast, thank you. Hurricane, fast or slow? Fast. It's a fast change, I agree. It comes through really quick. It's usually that very first storm closest to the eye wall that is the most strong. Right? Okay, what about wind? It could almost be both, right? Yeah, it could. So put it in both categories. I know it says it should be used one time, but I can justify it being in both. Um, what about a volcano? Slow. Are you sure when it erupts? Is that a slow change? No, that's why that's why we're doing this together. So yes, fast. Fire. Fast. Fast, very fast, especially like the wildfires that we've seen. Yep. What about deposition? Slow. Slow. It's a very slow change. Can you imagine like the buildup of the land that forms the deltas? And deltas don't change so quickly uh, think about how the rivers, how they meander and go back and forth, and how they change. Very slow. What about an earthquake? Fast. Yes, definitely. Fast. Okay, what about a flood? Would it be? Slow. Definitely slow. It's it's kind of a slow change, right? How it would actually... Yeah, because it takes it time for it to like get higher. Takes time for it to get high enough and then it backs up. It Water evaporates. What about weathering? Slow. 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 Definitely slow. What about ice? Slow. slow. Like duration or... It depends if it's in the freezing of the ice. Yeah. Well, it's, it's, um, even the freezing and thawing, it would take a lot of freezing, thawing, freezing, thawing to actually make a rock break. So excellent. Yeah. Good way to think about it.
Okay, I'm gonna go put it over here in the chat. Okay, I want you to go find a photograph of sand dunes or another landform that was created by wind. Okay, so we see that wind can create lots of different kinds of landforms, not necessarily just the uh, sand dunes. We see how some beaches how they kind of change with it. Okay, so let's look at this photograph here. Isn't that a beautiful, maybe it's a sunrise, maybe it's a sunset, not sure. But look at this arch. And I want you to think about the arch. How do you think this landform was created? So unmute and talk to me. By water? Come on now. What what is that? What kind of um, ecosystem are we in there? Okay, so is it going to be by water? Wind is most likely the case. So, do you think this landform was created over a longer period of time or quickly? A longer period of time. Okay. Yamalith, what do you think? Can you ask the question again? Do you think the landform was created over a longer period of time or quickly? I agree, it's over a longer period of time. That didn't just poof, happen. Mm -hmm. Okay, here we go. Let's open up our ISN. So, um, you're gonna, one of the landform pictures that you put up there, you've got your ISN and you've got your pencil or your crayons. Um, you're going to look at the picture of the sand dune that you posted in the chat bar. You're going to draw a picture in your of this landform in your notebook. You have to label three things. You need to label sand, wind, and sediments in your picture that you're drawing, okay, in your ISN. Then you're going to complete the sentence. The blank moved the sand and blank over time created a blank. Okay, now you've got some choices there. Your words are to fill in the blank, sand dune, wind, and sediments. So let me repeat the sentence for you. The blank moved the sand and blank over time created a blank. Remember, your words that you're going to use are sand dune, wind, sediment. So I'm gonna give you um, about two minutes to get your sketch in there and to write your complete sentence. Okay, excellent, let's move on. So weathering is a process of breaking down rocks soils, and their minerals. Erosion is the moving of weathered sediment. Deposition occurs when sediment is deposited or placed in a new location. Wind erosion is, is wind blowing away soil, sand, or any substance that is light enough for the wind to carry, and, carry it and deposit it at a different location. Wind takes many years to weather landforms unless it comes with a natural disaster such as a hurricane or a tornado. 
Okay, so here's what we're gonna do. We have just a few minutes left. You're gonna draw You're gonna draw this flow map that you see in my screen and there. The first one is weathering, the next one is erosion, and the next one is deposition. Now, in the weathering box, we're gonna draw rocks being broken down. In the erosion box, we're gonna do the wind blowing the sand and other rocks or sediment. In the deposition box, we're gonna draw the sand and the rocks dropping down in a new location and draw the sand dune that was created by these processes. Remember, uh, when we deposit, it's dropping down and it's building up of land. So we wanna make sure that we show that. And so while you're doing that, I do wanna to explain to you your assignment today. Your assignment is found in STEM scopes. You will be going in there. There is a virtual investigation that I would like you to do. Please make sure that you remember to click on the turn in or submit button at the end. So when I look back, I can see that it has been completed. Okay, you've got about four minutes. Any questions about today and really digging back into landforms? Bye.